All right, guys, I'm going to show you today how to make a poster using some of the concepts you just learned uh, using Cooler. Quick refresher under uh, Window, Extension, Cooler. In the last video, I showed you how to create your own custom extensions. So I'm going to create one just uh, analogous, and let's just play around with this quickly. Let's go with this one. And it, like in the last video, you just added your swatches. So now here are your five swatches. So what we're going to do, in the last video I also showed you how to create a gradient. So uh, here, here's the gradient. So what we're going to do in this is you're going to apply this gradient and create a uh, basically a poster. Are to any students who have not returned their information packet. Alright, so uh, what I want you to do now is to click on this text tool down here. And you're going to click here. And you see it's already large. But in your case, it'll probably be small. So go down here, Windows, click on Characters. And in your case, it'll probably be 100% here. All right? So what you're going to do is you're going to type something like a slogan related to the school, ComTech Prox. That's what I'm going to suggest. Put capitals on this since it's a title. And I also recommend that you play around with some of the fonts. Maybe find a different font that's a little nicer. And you have to highlight it when you do that, okay? So we're going to go with, I'm going to use this really cool font. You probably don't have access to it. And then I'm going to go here and I'm going to go 1,000%. Okay, it doesn't work so well with this font. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's just go with a simple font like this. We're going to go a thousand percent. Alright, and we're also going to press bold. Let me just go here, bold, and I'll take the move tool and I'm going to move it over here. I don't think that's big enough. I can always make it bigger. Alright, so there you go. You got Comtech Rocks. And now what I want to do is apply what's called a blending mode to make your poster. Then make sure you center it. Like aesthetics are pretty important. So we're going to go, and there's a couple that I recommend, but you can play around. Difference is really cool when you're doing this, uh, working with uh, the different, because you see some of the, uh, the color comparisons that it just looks so cool. So there you go. So a few uh, tips for you. Apply the gradient, get the text, Enlarge it, go up here, click on uh, the, the text window, um, make it wide because it looks so much cooler. Uh, you could, there's other effects we're going to learn very soon, uh, but this is a, a neat way. Now that you're done, what you need to do is two things. When you save in Photoshop, there's a working format. And a working format means you can return to this project and keep working on it. In other words, you'll have all your layers that you see over here and uh, you can continue doing that. So you want to make sure you save it to your documents and we'll, you call, I call it poster, save. So now th this is not what you would upload to Google Drive. What you upload to Google Drive is the JPEG. So file, save as, you save it twice really. That's what I recommend for beginners. Click on JPEG. So here you go. Now this is the file I'm going to upload. You see up here it says JPEG, save. And the same thing, you know, this just click OK, that's fine. Now this is ready to be uploaded. So you go to your Google uh, Classroom and uh, you email it to me. And I'll show you that in a separate video. Thank you very much.